Good day everyone, it's now time to clean up a bit on the house. So what is my YouTube comment section policy? And well, I'm going to actually explain to you all the rules. Uh, first off, if you've been referred to this comment section policy by myself or someone else, then please listen up so that you can understand what my general approach is to sort of um, looking at comments, reviewing comments, as well as just generally responding to people in the comment section as well. Um, so let's get into it. The first thing is I'm someone that has been, I've got co lots of experience in terms of moderating uh, Twitch and Discord comments and the same applies to YouTube. So I've got a very good sense or like a good handle on how people react on the internet and the types of dramas and stuff that can unfold. So with that said, the number one most important rule is that you stick to YouTube's um, um, community guidelines in terms of comments. And that is the biggest one that you need to remember. And with that said, rule number two, do not send me any links. Any links or any prohibited words which are caught by the filter will result in your comments being deleted. If you do want to send me a link, let's say you've done a video in which you want to demonstrate like one of your points, um, then please tell me, hey, is it okay to send the link? And then make sure it is going to be a YouTube link um, because then I'll be, be able to take note of your comments. And be very careful if you do send me something that is not a YouTube link, um, I may actually take some action against you, not just in terms of banning you, um, but other actions as well. So rule number three, generally speaking, I want you when you're commenting in the comment section not to use any swear words. Um, some swear words are filtered out, but play nice. So that means don't discriminate against anyone. Don't make any mention of anyone's um, sexual orientation, religion, race, any of that. If you breach this, I will ban you without warning, without explanation. And please don't insult anyone else in the comment section. I've got a duty to um, keep a very clean comment section. I want to keep it clean and family friendly as far as possible. Uh, so do understand that if your comment gets removed, there's probably a good reason for it. Don't fight it because I will just then hide you from the channel. As simple as that. Um, next, please do not spam the comment section because if you do spam the comment section, I will like take note. Generally speaking, I'm happy if you do one comment per video and it is relevant to the video. So a lot of the channel subscribers in particular um, do give me like positive feedback but if you insist if you do like uh, leave like a lot of negative comments uh, you will be hidden from the channel without warning um, if I tell you to stop spamming comments and you take offense you, and you want to complain about it you will get banned if I tell you a certain video is misinterpreted or that your comment is not really legitimate or that your arguments are not good and you want to argue you will get banned um, if you tell me I'm defensive in any sort of way, you will get banned. Um, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of petty tactics on the internet, so don't try it. Um, be understand that I'm very easy to ban you. Unfortunately, this is the real world. Um, I'm not my IRL self on the internet. The person that you see on the internet is generally, or my flavor and style of doing content is more of a sarcastic nature. So do understand that I'm very used to people being bullies on the internet. And very simply put, I can be a meanie as well. That said, if you want to argue, be civil about it. Don't give me a developer's letter handwritten personally by the lead developer at MiHoYo as to why I'm wrong. I honestly don't care. I don't care if Kaching Mains has done the math. I really, really don't care. If you try and rile up the comment section or anyone else against me, you will get banned. And um, you've got to be very, very careful if you want to argue, argue with me. And you've got to be very precise as well. So be factual as possible. And if you want to make a video response, do understand that if you are not going to be very civil, I will delete your comments as well, even if you do sort of post the link. Um, that said, I also want to now go into the fact that there's no appeal process on this channel. If your comments hidden, you are effectively hidden for life and I don't care. And that said as well, do not belittle anyone else for whatever characters they have. So if someone goes in a comment section and says they've got a C0 Kokomi 
and they're very happy to have pulled for a C0, don't tell them they were an idiot, don't tell them someone another character is better, respect them, we respect free to play players and we respect whales alike and we respect light spenders. Everyone's account is different and if you do tell me that I'm wasting my mommy's money on the game then expect me to just really ban you and also to even roast you as well because I really think um, where I get my money from, how I got to a position of having C6 or 5 characters is my business. It is my life, it's none of your business. Um, so do keep in mind that if you are going to be deliberately obtrusive, I will get very irritated. Don't tell me that free to plays are better because they've got more skill. I think that's an absolute lie. Being able to clear the game with free to play characters is something I've also done. It's not that hard, it's not that difficult, it's not that great of an achievement. A and in much in the same way, being able to speed run the Spiral Abyss in 15 seconds is also not much of an achievement because you can also purchase your way through it. So on both sides of the argument, let's rather be nice and ask ourselves what are the principles that someone used to get a good result? How did someone get, for instance, those high numbers? How did a free-to-play player manage to use Kokomi, for instance, as an example, very effectively in clearing this power base? Those are the sorts of interesting and constructive um, things we should be working on. If you don't want, if that's not your style, if you just want to sit here and criticize and tell me how much better your Zhongli shield is or whatever, uh, then do get expect, expect to be banned. Um, generally speaking, um, do not belittle any characters, do not belittle any upcoming characters, do not discuss any leaks, etc, etc. So I think it's very clear, you know, what my position is on the channel. Um, I generally love the sort of content and the sort of character cast that I'm covering. And if people do want to sort of point this out in a negative light, understand that I will have none of it. So hopefully everything has been crystal clear. If something is not clear, then please let me know. And then just finally do understand that you are consenting uh, to whatever comments that you give or provide to me that I can use that for content either in the form of responding to those comments or if you've given me a video idea I'm well within my rights to make a video of it without giving you any compensation whatsoever so do bear that in mind and lastly yeah please have fun um, enjoy the game we only cover Genshin Impact on the channel please skip all anything that is not related to Genshin Impact, like politics, out of it. And don't, also do not go out of your way to belittle MiHoYo. Um, if you've got anything bad to say about MiHoYo, uh, then there are other forums that can help you sort of put out your grievances. Don't say anything bad about MiHoYo on my channel, because I'm also just going to then permanently delete you. Um, and yeah, and that is it. Um, I don't think there's anything else to cover, but if there's anything that is not unclear or that is, sorry, that is not clear, then please let me know in the comment section and then I will try and address it. And lastly, don't try and argue with me. I'm the boss. I make the rules. Cheers.